Hey everybody, it's me, uh, Johnny T. Uh, today we want to talk about um, smoking hot rigs. And uh, everybody loves a smoking hot rig, but uh, you don't want to be caught inside one. And there's a couple reasons. Uh, number one, uh, if, if there is a fire, you may be the first person uh, to deal with it. Uh, number two, uh, first responders sometimes have a rule called the rule of thumb. What the rule of thumb says, they only have to get close to the scene uh, enough to cover it with, with their thumb. Uh, so if there's smoke or flames, uh, you may be on your own. Uh, so you do know how to, you have to know how to deal with fires. Um, let's look at three types of fires, uh, fuel, turbo, and tire. Uh, a fuel-fed fire can happen uh, because uh, of ongoing technological changes. Uh, for example, um, the fuel not only fuels the engine, it also cools the fuel injectors. The fuel injectors today are running at very high uh, PSIs, uh, up to 30,000 PSI. Uh, they're running very hot, so that fuel actually cools the injectors. When the fuel returns, uh, it goes to the tank. Of course, you have uh, your return line here. And um, it may be as hot as 200 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, uh, about 93 degrees Celsius. But uh, did you know the flash point for diesel is about 125 degrees Fahrenheit or about 52 degrees Celsius? That's a very low temperature. We think of diesel as a safe fuel, but it does have a very low flash point. Uh, all it takes is a spark. So if you get in, 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 into a situation where uh, your fuel line uh, breaks or, or if you have uh, a fuel leak, uh, all it takes is a spark and that fuel may ignite. And being uh, the, uh, the fuel uh, is so hot, uh, you, you can actually have a fuel-fed fire very easily. So be aware of that. If you believe you have a fuel-fed fire, uh, shut the engine off as soon as you can. Cut the source of the fuel. Um, let's also look at uh, turbo fires. The temperature in the engine is several thousand degrees. The turbocharger may run uh, as high as 1,200 degrees uh, or about 650 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. And uh, what that means is if you have a crack in a turbo, you actually will see flames. Uh, so, uh, you know, definitely inspect the, the turbo. Also check there's a, a low pressure oil line going to the turbo. Uh, check that, make sure that's not leaking, which can also cause a fire. Uh, the third uh, fire, uh, which is occasionally common, is the tire fire. Uh, what you want to do in a situation like that, uh, number one, uh, don't stop. The safe thing to do is to keep driving. Uh, don't drive at a high speed where you're going to fan the flames. Uh, drive at a speed uh, where the fire actually will eventually burn itself out. Uh, this, this, of course, may be very um, frightening to the public, uh, and I'm sure someone there will call a fire department. Uh, but be aware, the safe thing to do is to keep driving and let the fire burn itself out. Uh, so those are today's tips. Uh, you know, definitely inspect your lines, your fuel lines, inspect your turbo, uh, and um, of course, you know, uh, check them tires. Uh, don't, don't let them get too hot. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, have a safe day. Thank you very much.